the focus of this presentation is to let you understand the theorem and the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. And the abbreviation is the one you see there. Understanding the theorem, we write it in the form if then, so that we can identify the hypothesis and the conclusion. If quadrilateral is cyclic, then its exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. We can put this in a diagram. Here is the cyclic and this is the exterior angle. Then we can conclude that this exterior angle is equals to this one. So the given represent the hypothesis, the required to prove the conclusion. The arms or legs of the vertex with the exterior angle should not be part of the arms or legs of the interior opposite angle. Or what it means, if you look at this exterior, this is the first leg and this is the second. So these legs forming the exterior should not be part of the interior opposite. So this one has nothing to do with the um, two legs of the exterior angle. So proving the theorem, we are saying we are given a cyclic part and we are required to prove that X is equals to Y. Here is the exterior angle X and Y. We want to prove that they are equal. The thinking pattern is start with an end in mind. Firstly, think in terms of the end, which is X is equals to Y which is what we want to prove, that's the end. So the transitive property a relationship between three elements is often handy in this type of a proof. So to prove that X is equals to Y, one has to try and come up with equations that contain X and Y, right? This would then lead to the application of the transitive property of equality. Second, think in terms of the start, the given, stated facts that come with the problem to solve. What theorems or properties can you deduce from the given? We see that CED is a straight line, so we use adjacent angles on a straight line. BECF is a cyclic quad, use then opposite angle of the cyclic quad are supplementary. This will allow you to formulate the required equation. Having said that, then I have simply labeled this angle theta for reference purposes, right? So to prove now we start by the um, angles on a straight line. If we add X plus theta gives us 180, then theta plus y, 180, cyclic quad. So using the transitive property of equality, then since we have on the right-hand side, 180, 180, so the left-hand side should also be equal. So theta plus x is equal to theta plus y. We realize that theta and theta on the opposite side with the same sign, so they cancel each out. So we remain with x is equal to y. Proof is complete. Key takeaways from this presentation. One of the arms or legs of the exterior angle should be an extension of one side of the cyclic quad. That is, if you look at this exterior angle, this side CD, I mean CE, is an extension to D. That's why we are saying exterior angle. That's how you identify an exterior it will be an extension of one of the sides of the cyclic quad, right? Rather, again, to identify exterior angles, check the extension of each side of the cyclic quad. That means when we have a cyclic quad to discover if there are exterior angles, all what you need is you analyze, say, side number one, CE weather. Is there an extension, side EB, is there an extension side B, F? Is there an extension then F, C? Is there an extension? Meaning, if we are to have the exterior angle, otherwise, by checking each side, we 
we might discover that we might have more than four. So going forward again, the arms or legs of the vertex width, the exterior angle should not be part of the arms or legs of the exterior opposite angle. So the legs like this one uh, is the leg of the angle X and this one is the leg, another leg for angle X. So the two sides of the cyclic quad should not contribute to the legs of the interior opposite. That is the tricky thing about exterior angle of the cyclic quad. Use adjacent angles on a straight line and opposite angles of a cyclic quad theorem to prove the theorem. The transitive property of equality is useful in this too. I hope you understood. Thank you very much.